Now, I have spoken a lot in a lot of my other videos about how important it is to print out your reports at the end of the day or at the start of the following day. So I want to guide you here and I want to show you how to do that in best practice. And I actually learned the importance of printing out your reports or checking your reports at the end of every day from one of the courses that I attended. And I will include a link in the description below the MBS Business for Doctors course, which I would highly recommend. Now, the way that you would check your reports is you go into management from the main screen and you go into reports. Now, if this isn't showing up for you, make sure to go to the practice manager so that they can set you up so that you can access your reports. Click on work done by provider by date. And then clearly you just have to choose the date for which you want to see the report. Now, I typically check my reports first thing in the morning the following day. Now, because I wasn't working yesterday, I was working two days ago. We're going to put in the date for two days ago, 24th, the 2nd, 2025. And again, 24th of the 2nd, 2025. And this has the location that I'm working at. And this is the provider, which is me. View report. And so effectively, this has a list of all of the patients that I've seen on that day, and I have sent some numbers to reception. Now, what's important to note here is that this is a list of all the numbers, the item numbers that I've sent to reception. This actually isn't a list of my payments, because even though I'm sending those numbers to reception, it is possible that they are unpaid yet. Looking at your debtors is a little bit more complicated, and I have suggested that I am a little bit of a control freak, but I actually decided to leave that to the practice manager. And we have also created a protocol in terms of how to chase debtors. And if that is something you're interested in, I'm more than happy to share that with you. Just feel free to leave a comment below and I will run through the protocol that we have to manage debtors. Now, because I know that the COVID eligibility numbers as described previously do get missed out, I have a little post-it note that I keep next to my screen. And every time I do one of those COVID eligibilities, I will just write down the first name or the last name or the first letters of their first name and last name. And then at the end of my day, I will take a picture with my phone and then when I rock up the following day, I will check that picture on my phone and I will see whether they have added in those numbers. And if reception hasn't, I will just use that same process described on how to add billings in best practice. Here on the right hand side, you will have the total fee. And again, this isn't your salary because you have to obviously pay your percentage back to the practice. But at least this gives you a general idea of the general billings for the day. I know we don't like to think about it that much, but at the end of the day, it is your responsibility as the doctor to make sure that reception has put in the right numbers for your patient. So it has happened to me a few times that reception might have missed a number for some reason. And rather than putting in a 2712, I once saw a 272. I had never used that item number before. So again, that was something that we did have to fix. So realistically, although it does seem like a little bit of extra work on your part, you really should be checking these reports. All right, that's it guys. Hopefully that was useful. Let me know if you have any issues in the meantime. Feel free to leave a comment below and feel free to email me directly. Otherwise, Good luck.